I did a little random video earlier that was kind of like a makeup thing. And I'm still wearing the makeup from earlier. I just took out my contacts. But, um... I don't know if you guys can really tell. I kind of tell. I went like this. So you can see, like, the light brown. And I have, like, light brown on the top of my head and everything. I've had my red hair, well, this shade for a little while. But, um... Overall, I haven't been, like, my natural, like, light brownish kind of color. Like, this kind of color in years. Like, you see the light brown right here? My hair is light brown naturally, kind of like that. And that's, like, the shade of my whole head, and I haven't had that in years. Like, ever since even, you know, just pretty much all throughout high school and until now. Like, whenever my head would, my hair would start to fade. I just kept re dyeing it red and red and purple and plum and burgundy, burgundy, dark brown, let that fade, I put the black, let that fade, dark brown, blah blah blah. It was all like dark browns, blacks, burgundies, reds, all these years. And I haven't really let my hair recuperate to going like back to its somewhat natural state of like a light brown. So I thought I wasn't gonna do try to do this weekend is get like a color oops. That way I don't have to bleach my hair or anything, but it's going to help pull a lot of the red out. And then I'll dye my hair like a light brown on top of it. It's just kind of like, I like having my hair red in the winter. I don't know why. I just think it's like really pretty to have in the winter. It's just a weird thing of mine. I like having red hair in the colder months. And then when I get into the warmer months, I might let my hair fade to like the auburn color it was, or copper, or whatever, but I was just like, eh, I'm kind of tired of the upkeep, because if you're a redhead and you know you have to like constantly touch it up like maybe every couple weeks and do whatever you can to maintain the beauty of the red, of the red hair, and it's just really tiring, and I did have it professionally done like once or twice, but... This time it's a box color, and I think at this point I would just rather let my hair fade out from the red. I've had it long enough. I'll probably end up missing it. I know I'll end up missing it, but I think I'd rather just stay closer to a light brown. I know I bought a light brown shade maybe a, maybe almost a year ago. I bought like a foamy light brown shade from Walmart in the clear, so it was 25 cents. For a good brand of a hair dye that was a foamy light brown, and I kept it in case I ever wanted to dye my hair to a color close to that, which was pretty much my natural color. Ironic thing is, I don't know where that is. <laughs> I may have to go out and buy another light brown hair dye. But yeah, I was thinking this weekend I would try to get that done, that I could do a color oops and dye my hair back to somewhat of an original shade that I had of light brown. So, you guys may not be seeing this, this shade, this crazy hair, for too long, I hope. <laughs> so, just letting you know, that's my hair update. If I have it done and I have a result, it will be posted. So, I'll see you guys later.